what is the problem? And the problem is the system is rigged. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have American investor Robert Kiyosaki on the real issues in the financial system. Kiyosaki says one of the biggest problems we face is the enormous financial gap between the rich and the poor. The rigged financial system will eventually give way to social unrest and extremism. Kiyosaki says there is a giant space between the actual economy and the market. Because the government is borrowing more than they are taxing, the economy isn't making enough money to pay for itself. He advises to watch what people in government positions do and pay no attention to what they're saying. Let's listen to Robert Kiyosaki as he gives his take on the current economic struggles. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content we do here on this channel. Let's get right into the video. My concern today is a real, for Kim and I, our real issue is social unrest. You know, the gap between the rich and poor is now excessive. And um, that leads to revolution, civil rioting and all this. And this is an excerpt from the introduction to her book, Permanent Distortion. It says, when you print all this fake money and you rig it for the rich only, which is fine with me, but you should tell people, mm -hmm. that's what nobody's doing, it's rigged. Mm -hmm. It says, what, what, the, what that produces is a wave of intensified and widespread social unrest, disjointed political upheaval, dangerous extremism, punishing trade wars, and sweeping isolation. And that's what Nomi is writing about when you rig the system for the rich. And just FYI as a commercial message, rich dad would rather have you become rich than revolt. Well, not only the Fed, you know what I, I think is hysterical is that when Obama got elected, everybody, oh, Obama's for the people. But when he got elected, the first thing he did was bail out the banks and General Motors and all the failing uh, companies. He is on the inside. I mean, he's working with them. And well, everybody, he, oh, he's a man of the people. He bailed out the rich again. You know what I mean? Give me a break. Not he, what the guys, he's a, he's a smooth tucker. He but was watch, definitely, yes. Watch what they do. Watch what they do. Not that what is. they say. What are they doing? And he bailed out the rich. Oh, but he's a man of the people. Give me an effing break. That's what everyone was afraid of during World War II. The Gestapo would come knocking, so they hired 87,000 new IRS agents and the FBI can come into your house. Now, they don't want IRS agents taking your teeth. They're after your money. So if you understand what's going on, that's why your work uh, being an insider is priceless. I mean, we're being lied to. And, and look at the teachers unions the biggest political donors to campaign. They borrow so much more, but well, they're, right. not, they're trying to tax you more to pay the debt. What I think was funny was Obama bails out the banks, then he orders uh, Bernanke his... Kiyosaki notes that the financial history of stimulus checks is starting to repeat itself. We can see this in the beginning of Obama's presidency when he was bailing out banks and supporting financial systems. He says that the banking system is responsible for widening the gap between financial classes, which will lead to civil unrest. Kiyosaki believes the financial leaders are becoming irresponsible and immoral. Yeah, he, that, that's supposedly not connected, the central bank and uh, uh, Obama. But he says, okay, Ben, helicopter it to the people now. Okay, we, we propped up the bankers and the Wall Street and all this. Now let's give a few dollars to the uh, people. And that was stimmy checks. And you, if you watch history, you can see it playing out. Again, it's not what they say, it's what do they do. It really is how the banking system is creating more peop poor people. It's creating this gap, it's a social problem. The gap between rich and poor is getting wider and wider and wider. And my whole shtick is that, are the central banks as a government and the US treasury and politicians, are they evil or stupid? And we haven't come to an answer yet. My whole point, if you understand the problem, you might be able, be able to make better choices, decisions. And I love what you say in your introduction, he says here, the very existence of this debt became an inconvenient excuse for governments the world over to cut budgets mm -hmm. and reduce public spending in areas such as medical care, education, retooling for workers, and infrastructure. So our debt is eating us alive. That's right. 
But when when helicopter Ben Bernanke says, okay, well, we, we've given enough, you know, when Obama says, I'm going to bail out the banks and GM and all those guys and the, the finance markets, then helicopter Ben says, well, we should give some to the people. Now, all that's debt. And so let me read it again. The very existence of this debt became a convenient excuse for governments the world over to cut budgets, reduce public spending in areas such as medical care, education, retooling for workers and infrastructure. That's ripe for revolution right there. You know, we're getting so, and what happens is when people are suffering financially, what uh, what happened when Obama was in market, they said, how in the world can he bail out the rich? I'm losing my house. And at that point, the people, the proletariat who became Trump devotees, you know, uh, the, <clears throat> the Tea Party movement for a sake, they get angry. Mm-hmm. And they take their anger out rather than understand the problem. Mm-hmm. And the reason I like, you know, your books, Collusion, All the Bankers, Men, and this book here, Permanent Distortion. If you understand the cause of the problem, you might be able to take, be able to do something about it. But to go to a, a government solution, say, well, the government should do this, good luck. Mm-hmm. The government is not on your side, as you know. And Obamacare was about health care, but it was really about insurance. Mm-hmm. You know, it really wasn't about your health care. And it was a political ploy. Like they're going to they're gonna forgive the student loan debt now. You know, the five, uh, the woke group and wherever they are in the house led by uh, AOC. They're going to forgive the government debt. I mean, the student loan debt. Why? They can get elected. Yep. Does that do? We go to the bigger picture problem, but a lot of people don't understand the problem, which was the original question I had for you. Are these guys corrupt or just stupid? And then they, the, the court is still out here. Right. Look what happened in Sri Lanka. A lot of that problem was because of the Green New Deal. They wanted those people to shift to organic fertilizer. They couldn't produce enough. And that's what's going on here, too. That So, you know, I wrote about my book, Capitalist Manifesto. The uh, Green New Deal movement is a socialist move. move. You know, they, they want to give everything to the people. And Rich Dad and you and Kim and I, I said, why not teach people about money? I mean, why don't you teach them? But you can't teach people if your leaders are stupid or corrupt. In reality, you can't do that if the system is rigged against you is what you're saying in your books. The system is rigged for the rich, not the poor and middle class. And I went to school, I'm an oil guy. I went to Kingsport Merchant Marine Academy. I was a tanker officer driver, so I was in oil industry. And you look at when Biden cut off the XL pipeline, you know, and all of a sudden the price of, you know, Kim and I own oil wells. We're being paid $30 a barrel. And the moment he cut down that pipeline, oil went from 30 to 130. And we wonder why, why is there inflation? Right. That, that SOB, Biden cut the pipe, cut the oil off, and then he blames Russia for doing it. I mean, and then Yellen gets up there and she's talking about Green New Deal. She's a secret, what is she, Treasury Secretary or something? Yes. And she's talking about that and Green New Deal and going, what, are we nuts? Have we lost it? And everybody knows every politician, like congressmen and senators, they can inside trade, but you cannot. Give me a break. So that's so that's where you're on. And your books expose the underside, the dark side, the inside. So when I was reading Collusion, I was going, oh, my God, that you verified my suspicions because you've been on the inside. I understand everybody goes to solution really quickly. One of the problems is what is the problem? And the problem is the system is rigged. That's right. A few people. And that's what you're writing about. So we can talk, oh, we should borrow money to do this. I mean, there's friends of mine say, oh, if we just spent trillions of dollars on cancer research, I'm going to, but where does that money come from? Kiyosaki says that the concept of debt has become an inappropriate excuse for governments to have budgets on essential services and resources. People enduring financial hardships have started to become irritated and lash out in politics. Kiyosaki believes the best way to solve this is to begin with understanding the problem and how to make decisions that positively impact the economy. He notes that the Green New Deal is another source of problems because leaders take the easy way out and neglect to teach their people about finances. Kiyosaki feels that all the world leaders are making questionable excuses for the rise of inflation. What do you guys think about Robert Kiyosaki's opinion on the condition of the financial market? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Library of Wealth. We'll see you in the next video.